I just had some sort of critter run ahead of me and I'm going to try to cut off so I can see him again. Looks like maybe a mink. It was over there. I'm going to try to cut through here and see if I can catch up to him. So it ran across the path. And I have an idea where it would go if I don't fall down in the process. I did earlier on my live stream on Instagram. Look at that, it looks like an electric fence. I'm going to step over it and just figure it's live. Look at this, we passed through the beer can all the way out here. This is where I was trying to get to. I did take a roll. If you go to my Instagram account on the first walk in the woods, you'll, you'll get to see it live. It was no fun. But because of the physical shape I'm in, I survived it. Where I was a person who didn't lift. Potentially, I could have broke something. That's why I carry a phone with me. In case I had to call and go, oh, a squirrel. Okay, big old squirrel, that's what. That might have been what I was chasing. So here's Wood Creek. Pretty clear. A lot dirtier than this, and I think I might uh, go set my net out. See if I can catch some, catch some fish. Okay, I just heard something. It didn't sound too far away either. This is a beautiful area out here. It's where I was trying to get to. And it takes some work to get here. It's a good place to relax and just kind of enjoy the scenery. Now my trick is, is trying to get back up to the, to the area where I can walk easily. So this will be part two. I don't know if you can see that, but I took a spill and uh, hit the ground face first. Well, I was still trying to hang on to the camera. I should have just let it go. So sometimes you got to be careful. What happens? I didn't clear a a branch that was sticking up. I kind of got lazy and I paid for it. So, let me learn. The good news is, I didn't get hurt. Here's the new flowers that are taking over. As the other ones are dying down. where I came through eventually. I can see my own traps. Yep. There's the beer can. So they have an electric fence there. I think they have that for when they let the cattle grow, graze in that area and that's why it's as clear as it is. You can see here a kind of busting trail. 
and I make sure I step up high enough. And then you kind of kind of pick your path. Kind of go, okay. I can tell that's a clearing there. That's where I want to get to. And I'll just uh, kind of cut my way through. Uh, yep. Uh, no fun. I'm not just gonna pull through. Let's follow the trail this way. That's gonna be one of my longer walks. As I said, you know, trying to just Cut the branches back. I still want cover. But I want to be able to come through here a little easier next time. So I just do a little fine-tuning. A little touch-up, a little touch-up. And each time be just a little bit easier to get through here. Just a little, a little touch up. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, today we went a little deeper than usual. What I'm really trying to see is just a, a good path to get out to the cornfield there. I don't think it's going to get any better, so I better choose my path quickly. That's what you do, you just kind of nip your way through. And each time, it'll be a little bit easier to get through here. That's the thought process, anyway. Some of the stuff grows faster, and you can trim it. All righty. Mm, I'm out. Ooh. So you can tell he planted here. Probably planted some seed stuff here. They got stake here, which I think they're gonna probably run some wire. So probably some seed corn here, or maybe sweet corn. They do that every now and then. So you can tell this has been planted. I'm gonna stay here to the edge, so not to ruin their crop. And of course, I look for. Decent sized rocks for my pond. Uh, I have picked this area over pretty well. I used to come out with a three gallon bucket and have it half full. Now, if I find one or two of any sphere size, it's, it's not that often. So, so, you got another 10 minute video going. There we go. Deer track. Lots of deer. Oh, I'll end it here. So in your woods, be careful. Make sure you step lively. You might fall down like I did. But I'll rinse it off with some hydrogen peroxide when you get home and throw some vitamin E on it. And I should be fine. 
It's just a flesh wound. I've had worse. And I have. <laughs> Always recover. So everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, next next video I'll do will be me throwing discus. And hopefully I'll be more coordinated doing that. Oh, Bean Sky Fitness, Farms and Prepping. Have a wonderful weekend.